So I think that we can all agree that Nirvana is one of the most iconic bands of all time. They're probably in the top 10 most popular bands of all time. Kurt Cobain is one of the most influential artists of this modern era. And overall, they will be remembered for a very, very long time. And one of the most iconic things about Nirvana seems to be this album they released titled Nevermind. This album sold over 30 million copies worldwide. And honestly, I think one of the things that made it so infamous and so recognizable was the album cover itself. It features this naked baby swimming around in the water trying to chase down a dollar bill. I mean, for lack of a better word, that's what's going on. And I'm sure it's supposed to be some sort of a uh, metaphor against capitalism or something like that. I know there's going to be some Nirvana nerd down in the comments correcting me and shit. But that's really not the point of this video, okay? The point of this video is about that baby right there. Because now in this current day, that baby is 30 years old. His name is Spencer Eldon. And he's suing the band and everyone involved with this photo shoot for $150,000 each, claiming now that he was exploited beyond belief. Hi, I'm Spencer Eldon, and I'm the Nirvana baby. You see, guys, what happened here was when this guy was only four months old, his dad knew this photographer who was doing some work with Nirvana at the time. And so they went and did a photo shoot with this man. They threw the baby in the pool. They took the pictures. He paid them their $200. They signed the photo release forms and all of that, not knowing that this would eventually be the Nirvana album cover. They would go on to sell 30 million copies. You see, once you sign those photo release forms, that's it. You don't have jurisdiction upon what happens to these photos. Photos. And so now this guy's trying to say that since he was a baby, he couldn't legally sign off, and now he's calling this, I can't say it here on YouTube because I'll get demonetized, but I'm just going to call it oranges, you know, when there's photos of minors. And so his claim is that Nirvana knowingly produced, possessed, and advertised commercial oranges depicting him and his little baby stuff. He even goes as far as to say that this was part of some like ritual and that they knew that this would attract, you know, that certain type of crowd that would be into those oranges. And basically the whole lawsuit is absolute bullshit because over the years, this guy has recreated the photo multiple times. He's done multiple interviews where he says it's cool to be famous for this. I think it's, has it been a positive thing? Has it got its advantages? Yeah, definitely. It's always open doors and just people have always been kind of like first step on a good foot, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know, it's just always kind of like, not really, it's always a good thing to have. But it seems like the later he got into his life, the more that this was like plaguing him. I mean, imagine peaking at four months old, guys. Imagine doing the most important thing you'll ever do in your life at four months old. Maybe that's really hard to live with. I do not know, but it seems like the guy has not had the easiest time in his life. And so now maybe he's short on cash. He really needs this money. I mean, even like nine years ago, he talks about how the whole financial situation with this picture wasn't exactly right to him. So do you get royalties? You are on the cover and it's one of the best selling albums ever. No, I don't get any royalties. There was no model release sign, so it, it's kind of a interesting um, cover because, you know, I feel like it kind of portrays the situation kind of well. It would be nice to have a quarter for every person that has seen my baby. And I can't even really fault him for trying to get this bag. There's a ton of people in America who have sued for way less and gotten some pretty good settlement money. And while I don't think he'll get the 2.5 million, maybe he'll get like 80,000 to just shut him the fuck up. I also find it hilarious that in the picture 30 years ago, he was chasing that money. And now this man is still chasing that bag. But what do you guys think about this? I think, uh, you know, he's being pretty ridiculous. He's bag chasing like every other person in goddamn America these days. So let me know what you guys think down below. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video and subscribing. And make sure you go follow me on my social medias. That's at Jamar Speaks on both Twitter and Instagram. But as you guys know, there's some of the news out here that needs to get covered. So it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. And I'm out. Peace!